Hi guys, I'm Priya Malani and this is my course on basics to flight mechanics. In this lesson, I'll be uh, teaching you about the fixed wing aircraft uh, configuration. And in this lesson, I'll be covering the topics of landing gear and the forces on the aircraft. So uh, if you want to continue watching, please do follow me on Unacademy. And also you can download the Unacademy learning app. You can subscribe to the Unacademy YouTube channel as well. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to the new lesson of my course, Basics to Flight Mechanics. And this lesson is uh, the continuation of the last lesson. That is the airplane, the fixed wing aircraft by Priya Malani. That is me. So uh, airplane actually is the fixed wing aircraft if, if we see. And uh, I'm going to discuss with you the configuration of the airplane itself. That is the fixed wing aircraft and not of the helicopter or any other such aircrafts. So uh, uh, to discuss uh, about the airplane. Uh, till now in the last lesson what I discussed is about the wing and the fuselage and uh, about different types of fuselage and the wing placements and uh, the different uh, platforms of the wing. This is all I have done till now. So in this lesson I will be doing about landing gear, its configurations and uh, how landing gear is uh, required and uh, what does it do actually. And then I will be proceeding further to the forces, the four forces that we know very well, that is the lift, drag, thrust and the weight. I will be discussing about the these four forces in short. So first of all about me, so I am Priya Malani and I am doing my B.Tech in Aerospace right now from SRM University in Chennai. I will be passing out in 2018 and uh, also I am an educator on an academy from past two months and I will be writing my gate in 2019, that is the upcoming year. So hello guys, I am Priya Malani, this is me here and I am here because I love to share my knowledge. If I know something, I would love to discuss it with you and uh, you can find me at the link given here. This link actually guys is my profile link. So if you want to find uh, any other course by me, you can go to this link and then find it. Also, if you want to remain updated with all the new lessons I upload or any new course that I upload, you want to get the notification as soon as possible, then you should follow me at this link. And if you want to uh, tell me about any of your doubts, then you can uh, come to this link and write uh, write down your comment in the comment section of that video uh, relating to which you have your doubts. You can uh, uh, tell the doubts in the comment section. I'll answer to it as soon as possible. And also, if you want to give me any feedbacks, then also you're most welcome. So uh, about this lesson, that is the aircraft fixed wing, uh, fixed wing aircraft. Let's move ahead. So. As I told you, uh, basic plane is uh, that it has a, um, um, uh, its wing fixed to its itself and uh, it does not have any moving wing like uh, that of the helicopter where the rotor blades rotate and then it provides lift. This is not how it works in airplane. So this here is the exploded view of the aircraft. A exploded view that is uh, we have all the different parts uh, shown here separately such as the fuselage, the wing, the tail assembly, the control surfaces, the landing gear and the power plant. So here we have the fuselage as you can see. This is the fuselage. This is the engine here and it is separated from the fuselage. This is the wing. This is the horizontal uh, uh, tail and this is a vertical tail and this together will form the amphinage. So this is how uh, airplane uh, assembly is done. Uh, this is actually the exploded view uh, form of the airplane. So guys about the landing gear. Um, the landing gear or the undercarriage supports the airplane while it is at rest on the ground or in water. And during the takeoff uh, and landing also. Uh, the gear may be fixed or retractable. The wheels of most airplanes are attached to shock absorbing struts that use oil or uh, air to cushion the blow of, uh, uh, blow of landing. Special types of landing gear include uh, skis for snow and uh, floats for water. For um, carrier landings, arrestor hooks are also used. So um, there are many uh, different types of gear arrangements found in modern day aircrafts as well. So as I told you, uh, and landing gear is also known as uh, undercarrier. It uh, it supports the uh, airplane when it is at rest on the ground. That is, uh, if uh, you see any aircraft in the airports uh, just parked in the hangar, you'll obviously see that uh, it is standing on its landing gear. Landing gear basically is able to take the complete load. And uh, also during takeoff and landing, it takes off uh, from the landing when uh, after taxiing on the landing gear. And when it is landing, then uh, then also the landing gear takes the complete load when the aircraft touches the ground. 
there are two types of landing gear fixed and the retractable so uh, landing gear might be fixed or it might be retractable also the wheels are uh, attached to the shock absorbing struts uh, sh uh, the struts uh, that is the long rods that we see in the landing gear they actually have oils that are shock absorbing and uh, on landing when the shock is uh, shock impacts the aircraft the oils of the strut actually uh, take the shock to themselves and they provide cushioning so this is the landing here right now you can see this is the aircraft and this is the landing here this is the uh, uh, this is uh, the landing gear this also this 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 so different types of landing gears are there and here you can see so there are two types of landing gear basically the first is the conventional landing gear the second is the tricycle landing gear so uh, conventional landing gear is where the front uh, landing gear is such and back landing gear is just very uh, small and the airplane stands slanting and this is the tricycle landing gear where we have one in the front and two here in the back this uh, the one cannot be seen here but we have two here one in the right and one in the left so this is the tricycle landing gear this is the diagram of actually a strut this is the strut here attached to the landing gear wheel so guys moving ahead uh, to the forces of the that uh, have effect on the airplanes so we have two forces one is the body weight and uh, one is the uh, one is the body force and the other is the weight uh, body force is actually the weight and the surface force is actually the lift thrust and drag so basically there are two general types of forces that may act on a body in unaccelerated or steady flight they may be uh, termed as the body force that is the weight and uh, they may be termed as the surface force that is a lift drag and thrust that this is produced due, uh, due to the surface of the earth so these four forces are the forces that act on the airplane so this is how the forces act lift is this weight is this thrust and drag is this so weight the weight includes the airplane itself the payload and the fuel since fuel is consumed as the airplane flies the weight decreases the weight acts in a direction toward the center of the earth thrust so uh, thrust is actually the driving force of whatever propulsive system is used engine driven propeller jet engine rocket engine and so forth is the thrust it may be uh, taken to act along the longitudinal axis of the airplane except for vertical takeoff planes uh, they do vertical takeoffs uh, then next we have is the lift lift is a force that is generated by the flow of air around the airplane the major portion resulting from the wing uh, it represents the component of the resultant aerodynamic force normal to the line of the flight this is what the lift is the next we have is the uh, drags so again this force arises from the flow of the air around the airplane but it is the component of the resultant aerodynamic forces along the line of the flight so this is uh, what uh, the forces is actually uh, so in the simplest flight situation an airplane will travel in straight and level flight at uniform velocity and uh, to maintain the this basic flight situation the lift equals the weight and the thrust equals the drag the weight and the thrust are physical attributes of an airplane they generally are known or can be easily determined in control but lift and drag arise because of the dynamic movement of the air on the wings and other aerodynamic surfaces of the uh, airplane so thank you guys if you have any question as i told in the beginning you can find me at this link and comment down your doubts so please do rate review and recommend uh, on my videos and also you can give upvotes if you're liking my videos thank you